Why am I here in this place so far away from home where all I feel is alone? What am I feeling inside of me? There's a reason why dreams are placed inside of you. Those hopes, those wants, those thoughts that give you unspeakable joy. There's a reason why you feel what you feel. This burning, yearning, desire for what? For a man who knew what he had to do. And I think you know what he's asking of you too. You see, life can be a scary thing, especially when a dream is placed inside of you by the one true king, the one who promises to never leave us. That's just it. We need to put our trust in Jesus. Once a dream has been placed, there is nothing that can be done to be great when it's drawing you to your knees, begging for grace. Most of the time, we think we're unworthy. Like, what does the creator of the universe have in store for me? I'm not good enough. I'm not worth much. And I definitely cannot make a difference. I'm just a kid. I'm just a failure. I'm merely a person of existence. But can I tell you that those are all lies? Quite frankly, those thoughts are not yours. They're the devil in disguise. <coughs> Do you realize what has been done for you? The thought of Jesus not on that cross can make me a little uneasy too, but now you have a personal savior. He is what placed that thing inside of you. If you think those dreams are just going to go away, let me tell you the truth. Those dreams aren't meant to leave your heart. Those dreams are God giving you a place to start. To start what, you may ask? But I can tell that you already know. To be a teacher, to be a preacher, to choose to fight and know that you may never come home. I truly believe that Jesus is starting a renovation in this nation and it's starting with you. But you need to realize that he will walk with you step by step by step until you see the face of your father when it's all finished. So your dreams should scare you. Your dreams should make people question you. Make people think that something's wrong with you. But in the end, God already knows what's going to happen to you. So even if you're a single mother, still not knowing that God is the one calling you, the one who is changing you into who you're supposed to be, or if you're a homeless man walking around thinking that there's no hope for me, let me tell you, my God does not lie. My God does not give up, and my God does not just try. He's on an endless pursuit for each and every one of you. He truly is. That's why we're called to finish what he started, and to truly be his.